Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we have yet another stationery slash art haul. <laughs> In the past few months, I've been acquiring some more stationery and art supplies because I clearly don't have enough. And I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a haul of uh, the stuff that I've uh, bought and like stuff that I like. I've got stuff from different places. I got some stuff from Stationery Pal, some stuff from Otrio Stationery, some stuff from random odd shops. I don't remember anymore how I got these, but all fun stuff. Let's get right into it. So yeah, we're starting off with this Stationery Pal box. As you guys know, I've had a lot of like stationery pile hauls here on the channel. Uh, they just have really cute stuff and um, they, they're always releasing new things as well. So yeah, they reached out to me again and asked if I wanted to like pick out some stuff and I was like, you know the answer is yes. <laughs> they're really sweet as well. They put in some extra sticker sheets and by extra sticker sheets, I mean a ton of sticker sheets. Look at these, there's so many of them. There's a lot of different ones. There's like some with just text, that'll be nice for bullet journaling. There's some like just coffee ones. Yeah, if you guys saw the last one of these stationery pal hauls, you'll see kind of what the, the style usually is of these sticker sheets and it's just more of them. Yeah, next up, I got this really cute like calligraphy set. It comes with a, a nib holder and seven different nibs that I'm very excited to try out in a second. But yeah, I just really love the packaging and stuff that it comes in. So yeah, it comes in this like cute little envelope situation. I just really enjoy it. it looks like a letter. I'm really intrigued about this box. I c oh, and actually, while I'm here to open up these packages, I actually got this really cute box cutter it looks like a little rabbit it's really cute it's got a little rabbit nose on the other side and it's just like a mini box cutter i think i got this one from otrio i think i saw catnip studios had some similar ones to these a few months ago and i thought they were adorable so when i saw them on otrio's website i was like uh gonna have to get one and it's just handy to have a tiny little thing like this on your desk right so this is a little stamp box I saw these on Stationery Pals website and I thought they were so adorable. So they're just little wooden block stamps and I'm just so in love with them. They're so cute and small and they've got really cute like cat ones over at the top and some of them are in Korean which is like you know unfortunate because I don't know what they say. I can read them but I don't know what they mean. But yeah, there's some other really cute ones that I can definitely see myself using a lot in my bullet journal, like these checkbox ones, D-Day ones, um, these birthday cake ones, sales, and just these random cute cat emoticon ones. They're so cute. And I'm gonna stamp them out in a bit and check them all out. And they come in a cute little box. Very cute. I wanna see what's inside this. Ooh, since I got this like little calligraphy set, I saw this gorgeous glass dip ink pen. It's so beautiful. And I've been seeing a ton of these on like social media and stuff around the past few months. And I thought they're so gorgeous. They just like, you just dip them in ink and they have these gorgeous little ridges on the nib. And it's just so, so beautiful. I am kind of mesmerized. And this one's like got pink glitter on the inside. I'm very obsessed with this. I, I've never tried a glass dip pen before. So I'm excited to try it out and see how it works. So next up, ooh, I'm excited about this actually. I got this really cute little case for like sketchbooks and stuff. You can basically just put this around any sort of sketchbook and it's like, a portable little pencil case, um, especially for sketchbooks that don't have like a pen holder or bullet journals that don't have a pen holder and you like to carry around just a simple pen and eraser or something. Uh, this is very handy. I'll show you what, what I mean. So for example, let's imagine that my bullet journal currently doesn't have this pen holder. I would just put this over here and then just have like a pencil case with me at all times and it's just a lot easier to carry stuff around like that. I got mine in this super cute like blue and yellow color. And yeah. What do we have next? Ooh, I think I know what these are. I really love the little bags. They're so cute. 
So I also saw these really cute ink bottles on Stationery Pals website and I thought they were so adorable and I have a really big issue with collecting jars and little tiny bottles and stuff. It's actually a problem. So I saw these two really cute jars. I think they were listed as like little ink bottles. So if you like making your own inks or mixing your own colors, these are really nice to like store inks and stuff like that. And I think they're so cute. Look at them. And they just look so adorable. I wanted to get like a big set of them and have them like displayed in my room and they would look like a little potion set or something. Next up, ooh, yes, yes, yes. So I got this um, really cool Snoopy Peanuts, Snoopy pen set. And they're actually the click art pens that I've been wanting to try out for a while. They, they're like these big, thick felted pens that are clicky love to see it and they have these really cute Snoopy and Peanuts drawings on them and for those of you who don't know I have a, a dog back home and her name's actually Winter but we around the house sometimes call her Snoopy because she kind of looks like Snoopy and she all she does is sleep so I saw this Snoopy set and I was like oh my god that's so cute I'm really excited to try out these colors and actually try out these zebra click art pens because I've been wanting to try them for a while and Ooh, very cute too. I got this sticky memo with like just a little calendar and it's got like cute little strawberries on it as well. Very adorable. I think it'll come in handy, especially for like bullet journaling. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with like sticky notes. They have a whole like collection of these, but I just got this one here, but they have some really cute ones as well. Ooh. Okay, I see two washi tapes in here. I think I'm gonna save those for the end because I'm seeing this and I think I remember what this is. This right here is a little keychain pocket scissor. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. I'm obsessed with how tiny little things. So I saw this and I was like, I need, I need it, I need it. Look how cute it is. The tiny box cutter, the tiny scissors. I'm just here for tiny things that just make sense. So little minty green pocket scissors, look at them. I'm excited. Um, What's next, what's next? It's a little box here, don't know what's in here. Ooh, oh yeah, it's another jar. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, I have an issue. Every time I see like any sort of glass wear, I'm just like, ooh, need it. I need it. Look how cute. I think this will look really cute with ink in it and to use with my glass dip pen. Like look at how much of a set they look like they are, right? If I'm ever feeling extra bougie, I'm actually really obsessed with the shape of this. It's so cute. Oh, next up, yes, I have acquired this single hole punch because I don't have one and they're very useful. It's a very like just common thing but I didn't have one and I saw it on stationery pal and I was like, oh my God, yes, I need one of those. So there you go, a single hole punch. <laughs> Ooh, another cat thing, of course. Hello. I am so obsessed with this ruler. Look at it, look at it. Just, just take a moment. Just take a moment to look at this ruler. Okay, not only is it plastic clear pink with glitter in it, but it has little cat bean toes on the end. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely obsessed. Look at it. And it's just a regular 15 centimeter ruler. So it fits in like my pencil case. Look at how I'm obsessed. I'm sorry. I just, I saw this and I've been thinking about it ever since. It's so cute. Look at the little bean toes though. Look at it. I just love it. I need to move on before I cry. Ooh, what's this? I saw this thing on stationery pal and i've never seen this anywhere else so i thought it was really intriguing and i got some to try out and they're just like little airpod holders with magnetic like claspy things so i think this will just be really handy for the gym because i feel like when i go running or when i go to the gym my airpods are always like threatening to fall off but these are just like really nice and you put them around your neck you put them in Mm, mm, mm. I just love things, items that make sense that I'd never thought about before. And I saw these and I was like, that makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, a, a set. So yeah, got them in white to match the AirPods, of course. Uh, getting down to the wire here. What are these? Hello. Ooh, absolutely right. 
Zebra Mild Liners kind of stepped up their game and made some brush markers. But yeah, so they usually used to look like this. So they had a chisel, sort of a highlighter tip, and then a smaller nib at the end, at the other end. So now they've released a set of brush ones, which I am so excited about. So I just got this entire set because I, I wanted to try them all out. And they're so gorgeous. They kind of changed the packaging a little bit as well, which is exciting um, with this like transparent bit at the top. I don't know if this is a new thing. It's probably been out for a while now, but I have only recently seen these and I was so excited. So I'm going to be swatching these later and I'm very excited. All right, next up, I'm going to go into these washi tapes finally. Oh, this is so cute. So these are some like animal themed stamp washi tape. I think these are so adorable and I think they're gonna look so cute in my bullet journal. They're just like washi tapes that look like stamps, really like postage stamps, but they have different animals on different, on every single one of them. And I think they're so cute. They're adorable. They look like vintage stamps, really. Um, I'm gonna have a look at these and see what different designs they have on them. But how cute are these for like decorating your bullet journal spreads? I think they're very cute, especially if you like scrapbooky looks for to your bullet journal and stuff. And then I also got this holographic slash iridescent washi tape, obviously. Kind of gorgeous. Like, I don't think the camera is catching really the full array of the rainbow on this, but it's really cute. It was listed as holographic, but it's definitely iridescent because it doesn't have the full spread of the rainbow. It's, uh, it's just got like this pinky and mint green sort of color, but it's still very cute, very, very pretty. It just uh, is not holographic. And then finally, the last item that I got in this set is one of these Zig Clean Color Dot pens that I already owned one in red or purple, I think, that came in a separate Stationery Pal color-coded box, I think, uh, that I got a few months ago. And I was kind of really obsessed with this. It's so like randomly useful. It's just like got a dot nib at the at one of the ends. It's got like a regular fine tip at the other side. But yeah, I think this for like, especially filling out um, habits trackers, it's just something that I think is really useful. Look at how cute that is. You just make little dots. And I saw this uh, on Stationery Pal and they had it in a black color. I'm like, I need that. That was it for all of my Stationery Pal stuff. And we're gonna go into uh, the other stuff that I've got over here. So I wanted to also show you guys some of the cute stuff I got from Otrio Stationery, which is a, a very similar shop to Stationery Pal. And they got very cute, tiny things, which is, as you know, my weakness. So first and foremost, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a, a closer look at this cute little rabbit box cutter. Look at the little ears. They, they're very floppy and I love them. But yeah, it's just got this one tiny little blade. Unfortunately, you would have to like restock the whole thing because I don't think they sell the blades individually. So waste wise, it is probably just a one time purchase. I won't be like buying this again. Then I also saw this really cool Stedler um, eraser, these uh, retractable erasers. And I just really was drawn in by the color. I think this little pale blue is so cute. And then also from Otrio Station, I got just a bunch of stamps because I, as you know, I'm obsessed with stamps. And first and foremost, I got this really cute weather and mood tracker stamp. Look at how cute this is adorable uh, as you can see i haven't tried it out yet it's clean it's unused i wanted to stamp it out and try it out with you guys but i'm just very excited it looks really cute these little faces look at him look at this little guy i'm kind of obsessed with him sorry i know you're sad sir but bless him so yeah this stamp very very excited to try it out and then i got one of these like calendar stamps that i have tried out it's in sort of this old tiny like calendar formats a cute design and it's nice for like weekly spreads when i just want to have like a little tiny calendar over there on the corner and then um this one i also have used 
before. I used it in my August bullet journal plan with me. If you guys watched that video, I use it in that. Yeah, it's just a little five star rating stamp. I use this for uh, my summer reading list spread that I did in my August bullet journal plan with me video. So yeah, I just kind of stamp these underneath all of the books that I'm wanting to read this summer. And then I'm just going to fill out the star rating. This last stamp that I got is a just a regular sort of date stamp. <laughs> It, yeah, it's just like dating things. You just put the date, what day it was, etc. Um, it has like a little example over here on the box of what it looks like. So these are the lovely cute things that I got from Otrea Stationery. But I actually also got some other stuff from Otrea Stationery that I wanted to show you, including this friend right here. You guys have probably seen this in my most recent studio vlogs. He's a little nightlight friend and he goes in like a rainbow or he can go in a rainbow. Look at him. And I am so obsessed with him. <laughs> He's a little squishy friend, as you can see. And he just kind of sits over there on my shelf when I'm working late at night. And I'm just so in love with my son. Yeah, this is probably one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. A very good friend. And then I have some random like stationary stuff that I don't remember where I got them or who sent them to me. Yeah, I got this set of, I think they're future color. Yeah, future color brush pens. Um, I haven't swatched them or tried them out yet. I'm gonna do that in a second, so. And I also got this random set of calligraphy brush pens. Yeah, they're always useful to have around, to be honest. You can never have enough calligraphy pens. Um, I just really don't know who sent me these or where I got these. It says they're the sepia, I think they're the sepia colors, but I did swatch them the other day and they're, I think they're just black. So I don't know, I've got a lot of questions, but we're gonna, we're gonna, get to the bottom of this. But yeah, this is pretty much the haul. I'm gonna now go over to the swatching part of today's video, which is the most exciting. I'm gonna actually try out all these bad boys. So I'm just gonna be using this uh, Archer and Olive sort of paper pad that I've had for a while to swatch out a lot of these. And just from what's around me, I'm gonna start off with these Zebra Mildliner brush pens. I really, really want to swatch them. Ooh, this one's kind of like neon. Very fluorescent, very pretty. So that's the brush pen side. And then this is the fine tip side. I'm gonna say the brush pen is absolutely glorious to use. And I really enjoy that they kept the same formula as the previous Zebra Mildliners because I mean, to be fair, that is their like claim to fame was their formulas and how they don't bleed on any paper. They're very like, you know, bullet journal friendly. So I did really enjoy that they kept the same formula. So it's something really familiar. If you are unfamiliar with Zebra Mildliners, they were very, very popular in sort of the bullet journaling and the craft booking world like a few years back. It's like every person that did bullet journaling or sort of craft booking or um you know anything of the sorts they had zebra mildliners <laughs> oh look how bright that color is the camera isn't even picking up how bright that is but it is ridiculously bright it's like really neon oh i like this sort of dirty yellow color some might say it's a yellow ochre this one's gonna be fluorescent as well yes Look how neon that is. Maybe I just haven't seen highlighters in a while, but this is wild. Oh, I love this green. This green is definitely my favorite so far. Nope, this green is my favorite so far. <laughs> it's like a little minty teal green. The spread of these colors is also really lovely. Like it's got a mixture of highlight colors, a mixture of sort of more muted colors. I don't know. I just think it's got colors for everyone. It's so lovely. You can also buy these separately, like the pens individually, but I really wanted to try a series of, of the colors. So I bought this whole set. Oh, this is probably my favorite one so far, actually. I really enjoy that color. <laughs> if there is a color that you particularly like from this set, I'm pretty sure you can purchase it individually on their on their shop. This lilac is gorgeous. Okay, my favorites are pretty much these two at the moment. Ooh, this one's very pretty. Very fuchsia. And then finally, the last color in this set. 
a normal sort of warm gray. All right, this is the spread of the colors of these Zebra Mod Liners. I'm very excited about these. They're very cool. I love the colors. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely find a spot here on my desk to put them all in. Um, I'm slowly running out of space on my sort of stationary section on my desk, but I'll find a way. And next up, I wanted to swatch out the Snoopy Click Art pens. I'm very excited about these. It's mostly because I wanna try out the actual Zebra Click Art pens. Ooh, yes, I love this so much. Why do I love this so much? I don't even, I can't even pinpoint what it is that I like about them. Oh my God, yes. Zebra. Click art. I don't know why, I think it's just cause it's like a thick sort of felt tip pen, but I generally don't know what it is about it that I like, but I am enjoying it very much. And the colors are really nice. From this set, at least, I haven't tried the other colors. And they're all like the Snoopy colors, which is really cute. Oh, they actually even have like a little diagram at the back of why they chose these colors. I think that's adorable. <laughs> Got a nice sort of beigey color. And then this is supposed to be his shoes, Charlie's shoes. Did you guys watch Snoopy and Peanuts growing up? Let me know if you also watched that because I watched it a lot when I was growing up. Oh, this black one, look at it. Yes. I'm gonna be using this a lot in my bullet journal, that's for sure. It's so convenient, I don't know why, it just, look how lovely these are. I'm very obsessed. And they got cute little drawings of, of Charlie and, and Snoopy on the, mm! <laughs> they're so cute. Very, very adorable. A plus, 10 out of 10, big fan. What else can I swatch? <laughs> All right, I wanna swatch or try out these calligraphy pens. I could definitely try and keep the, the nibs in this little jar, that'd be cute, just so I don't lose them for now. I do have like a little pot where I keep all my calligraphy pen nibs, but that's cute, right? Look at it, look at this little jar, very cute. I'm kind of living for this. Um, I do want to try the nib pens, but I also want to try out the glass dip pen. So I'm just going to grab some ink and put it into one of these little ink bottles. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to use some of my teal Bombay ink from Dr. Peach Martins because I have like three jars of this stuff. So, And I want to mix in some water into this so I can dilute it a little bit. So I've got my little jar of ink over here and I'm going to definitely go in first with my dip pen whoa and now i want to see how it works i'm gonna write my name <gasps> oh my god wait why is this so cool wait this is so awesome why is this so satisfying that's so nice And it goes on forever as well. Like I haven't had to double dip it yet. Oh my God, that's so lovely. Oh my gosh. Why do I wanna like do all of my writing from here on out using a dip pen? I just feel so fancy. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm writing a scroll, a love letter to someone. Wait, I'm really obsessed with this actually. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna need like at least 15 minutes to just play around with this thing. I still haven't double I still haven't dipped again. Look how How does this what's how does this work? What's the science? How is it possible? If you know the science behind this, tell me because I'm losing my goddamn mind. I love this. Oh my gosh. What do I do with it once I'm done? Like, I, I have to wipe it down, right? Ta-da! This is so much fun. And now I wanna try out the, the calligraphy pens. So this nib that comes already in the pen holder is the, the Iridium Point F. Let's try this out. Very nice. It doesn't pick up ink as nicely as the dip pen, 
if I'm honest. I really, like as you can see, it's, I'm kind of struggling. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Iridium. Oh, maybe I just need to press a little harder. But I'm scared of breaking it, so I don't know how well that should work. And I want to try the next one now. I think this is the round typeface in bold. Let's find out. Because these thick ones don't have a name on them. Ooh, so thick. Wait, this is so fun. I've never tried a, a, a calligraphy pen like this. That's so fun. I'm going to put a B for bold next to it. Oh god, I'm getting ink all over my hands. I really should have... Okay, I need to go get a tissue. Hold on. Well, I guess I've got a blue finger for a while now. I will be washing these out with water later. I know that you should wash them because then the ink hardens and it can clog up the nib, but at the, this point in time, I'm more focused on this. If this is one millimeter, what's this one? Two millimeter, okay. So the bold one is a two millimeter round typeface. This one's a one millimeter. Very nice. These are very fun to use. Very nice. Big fan. Okay, it's thinking. Whoa. This is fancy. I feel like I'm on Game of Thrones. Whoa, that's really cool. So, yeah, see, this one's a bit more my style, a bit more comfortable. Although I really messed up this P. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure this is a two millimeter. This is very cool. I'm having so much fun. That one's a lot nicer. I feel like I really killed it with this one millimeter one. This one's probably my favorite. Very lovely. Um, it's a really good like beginner set. If you're a calligraphy beginner, I highly recommend getting this. You know what, since we're on an ink sort of streak, I wanna try out all of these stamps that I got and I got just this random pink ink pad. Let's make it colorful, why not? Very cute. Let's go. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, I love that. Very cute. The sale one, gotta try the sale one. Ugh, yes. I'm gonna try this D-Day one. It's got a little flower. Ugh, cute. Ugh. And then end. Ah! And then I wanna try these little cat ones, the little emoticon ones. Yeah, it's cute. Adorable. I'm actually really vibing with this set. It's very cute. Flowers. I wanna finally just try out this little bean paw one. It just looks like a little cat paw. Absolutely, 100% yes. I love these a lot. I think we've just got the this pen and the other random pen sets. And I'm gonna go in with this Zig Clean Color Dot one. I love this. You can make different sized dots as well. How lovely is that? And it's also got this regular sort of 
you know, fine liner on the other end. It's a 0 0.5 millimeter. I'm sorry, I love the, this dot pen. <laughs> All right, I wanna definitely swatch out this random set of brush pens, but I'm gonna also swatch out these sepia technically brush pens, not too sure, but see what I mean? I They say sepia or sepia. Oh, maybe I just read that wrong. But it is kind of confusing that they're brown on the outside, but then they're black when you use them. So I have no idea. And yeah, they got three different sizes as per usual. Now to try out these future color pens. Oh, okay. They're a lot more watery than I was expecting and more flexible. Like the tips are quite flexible. Ooh, they're, they're kind of fun. Okay, I don't hate it. What's the bleed like? No bleed, love to see it. Ooh, I will say the colors that are coming out are very different from the colors of the ends of the pens, like on the outside, on the packaging. Again, have no idea where these came from or how I got these, so I don't know what I'm gonna put in the description box. <laughs> I'm not a, the biggest fan of, ooh, okay, why is this brush pen thinner than the rest? Weird. Anyway, yeah, not a huge fan of the the color array of these, but I guess the, the actual brush pen in themselves is fine. Mystery pens, you could have been worse. <laughs> this is sort of the spreads of the things that we did today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me open up and try out all these new um, supplies and, and stationaries and stuff like that. If you are interested in any of the things that I showed today or want to check them out, I will leave the links to everything that I showed down there in the description box. Also, don't forget that there is a giveaway going on at the moment on my channel. It is uh, a sort of art giveaway. The rules and all of the prizes and everything were discussed in my previous sketch with me video so i'll leave the link down there if you guys would like to enter the giveaway it ends on the 20th of august so you have like a week well by the time this video comes out you'll have until the end of the week so uh, make sure to check it out if you'd like to enter so yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye